Yeah, in the fourth race we uh, had a quite tough uh, pre-start with, uh, with Simona and um, uh, he was uh, chasing us to the line and uh, we thought that he was behind us all the time, uh, all up until, uh, what was that, 15 seconds to go, where he just got an overlap. another collision when he hit us from behind and we got a penalty there so we were very surprised about that one but we managed to stretch out uh, really good the whole race and had enough uh, time and room to take the penalty turn at the finish line <laughs> very disappointed because we had that race and uh, the guys had done a f fantastic job and they were so exhausted afterwards and uh, we had a bit of a bad mojo on the boat after that for 30 seconds until we said that oh, it's no problem we are, we are better than they are let's go out there and take the fifth match instead. This was the first time this year with this team because in the Congressional Cup we, we missed one of these guys so I was a bit worried because we didn't have uh, any time to, to train but uh, anyway, to stay at this level and to battle with the top teams uh, without training, I think, is, uh, is a lot. And uh, we need to push for it and to train in the future to, because we can, uh, I think we can beat everybody. Yeah, you know, the last race against Robertson in the semi-finals. Um, yeah, obviously he was 2-0 up, so we needed to, to try and win one and then take it from there. And we uh, didn't start too well. We actually got a penalty in the, in the pre-start. But then he pushed us a bit hard at the start and obviously the umpires gave, decided to give him a penalty. So it was all even and then we were ahead. Um, and we sailed quite well all the way around the course um, until the last top mark. Um, and unfortunately when we were putting the spinning pole up to go just before we turned around the top mark, the spinning pole came up and uh, a bit of the spinnaker just came out of the hatch. And uh, before we knew it, the whole spinnaker was out of the boat and uh, off away from us and uh, it collected the mark, the top mark. We had to cut one of the sheets, so we stopped dragging the top mark. Um, and unfortunately, obviously we cut a sheet, so we had to try and rerun that. And the spinnaker got in a big, big knot and Phil basically just set his spinnaker and uh, sailed straight past us. So, yeah, we're stoked and yeah, just looking forward to the final tomorrow. We sort of call it the bonus round so we're happy to be there and um, we're going to throw everything at it. It's going to be really really hard to take down Bjorn. He's got five Swedes on board and about 50,000 on the shore so we're not taking down five we're taking down 50,000 so that's going to be the hardest part.